Hey guys, Chance from Aquascape here. I just wanted to show you guys something that I really enjoy doing uh, with aquatic plants is uh, terrestrial displays, basically. Um, I wouldn't quite call them wabi cooses because it's contained. Um, I wouldn't call it a terrarium because I don't, there's no fauna in it, it's just flora. Um, if it is a terrarium, if it's classified as that, then cool, but I just call it a terrestrial display. Uh, all aquatic plants in here, Anubius, Minima, that's variegated, uh, some Bucephalandra, also coming through variegated. Uh, been here for a while, and then the coolest thing is the Cryptocorium pondifolia red lips uh, that just recently went into space. So, very cool plant very cool setup and it's very easy to do this is a very small container um, just for size reference a little cheapo wireless mouse um, I top them off with these lids here you can get them at Home Depot they're cheap they're like a dollar um, for ventilation you can poke a hole in the top this one I didn't poke a hole in the top because this is just barely fits it I actually had to rig it up and put staples on here to make the lid stay on but it works and it didn't cost me a bunch of money and it keeps my silver powder looking pretty and the xyrus and really neat glosso sp that i'm growing out so yeah it's just real easy to do just aqua soil some potting soil or soil mix on the bottom i use my soil mix that i use with my terrestrials um yeah and then just water it and they'll grow, keep the humidity up, spray it once in a while. I use uh, just this mister here, it's really neat. I can hold it and it miss. It's not pressurized, I'm not sure exactly how it works. I got it on Amazon, it's a, a neat little spray bottle. Um, but yeah, it's a cool little part of the hobby, it doesn't take much space, like I said, very small section of my home. Um, but it's neat. It's right when you walk in the door. So the first thing people see when they first walk in are these uh, two plants. Of course, they're always covered most of the time unless the humidity is up. But still, it's intriguing to them. They ask what it is. They look and then that sparks the conversation. And then I get to show them all my other plants. Uh, wait, they've already walked past like a million plants anyway, because my whole house, yard, porch and everything's nothing but plants. So tis life. But yep, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I enjoy this part of the hobby. Hopefully this seeds out. Um, I have luck with Cryptocorian seeding out in my greenhouse, but I think that's because I have ants. Um, not any harmful ants, but I live in Florida. There's ants everywhere, and I believe the ants are what's pollinating them out there. I don't have ants in my home, thankfully. So, well, unthankfully, I guess, in this case, because I don't know if anything's going to pollinate it. We'll see. If it does happen, that'd be great. A seed pod from this would be so cool. But either way, it's awesome without a seed pod. Just so cool to look at. It's such a pretty, pretty flower. In a few days, I plan on cutting it off and bisecting it and seeing the bell and kettle and all the internal organs of it. Can't really see that from out here. But all right, again, I'm talking more. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll talk to you guys later. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Have a good one. One more look at that. See? It's just cool. Take care, guys.